Well, uh, this is a very much a bit of a take two. We had a bit of, this is day two, the start of day two. We normally have a, can you just keep that racket down, duck? You hear that? Just no respect. Uh, the bloody birds this morning, I almost got me out of bed. Almost, almost. But, uh, so we're on the morning of day two. We had a, a formatting error. I understand error, apparently Ted knows the other word, but uh, it didn't work. So we'll give you a bit of a dribble this morning. We uh, spent 16 days uh, in lockdown um, uh, with the wonderful hospitality of Rose Isle Station, Samantha and Gary. Um, it just couldn't be any lovelier, really couldn't be. And uh, I'd highly commend anyone who's, who's paddling down the river, go and spend a couple of nights here in their shearers quarters. I don't recommend spending 16 days in lockdown, but um, uh, certainly <laughs> a couple of days is, is just a wonderful place to stay. So we managed to um, find a lawful way to pursue down the river. Uh, it's about another 120, 150 k, who knows where we'll end up. But um, uh, so we took off yesterday morning and what a cracker of a day, eh, Ted? Now the river day, is going yeah. down a bit. Um, and the only issue with that is that it leaves a bit of a muddy bank. I think it's probably gone down maybe 20 centimetres uh, since it went down and as we paddle of course it's about two days in front of us so we sort of catch up but unfortunately we sleep and it flows overnight so i think it'll stay just ahead of us but it's still great so we're just behind the peak of the flood so it's a lot higher than it was before and the river is completely different completely different you can see over the banks a lot of the time you see that you know i was thinking are there just a million more goats well probably not but we can now see them all we also, uh, very excitedly yesterday for me, saw some 10 pigs lurking on the river, looking at us. And uh, I have to say, hand on heart, I, I had some palpitations of leaving them alive, but we did so because I don't know, but uh, because we didn't, we didn't stop and, yeah, we didn't stop and, and murder any, but there was a lot of them. Hopefully today there'll be a few bite the dust. But um, been another fantastic day the river is just absolutely beautiful um, so we're cracking on today we did about 40k yesterday um, so um, we've got a bit to do um, just an absolutely beautiful river beautiful day the birds are just absolutely magnificent another cracker campsite it doesn't seem to matter I was saying to Ted this morning you know we stop somewhere and it looks ugly you come up and go, oh, we're gonna camp up there we're gonna find a flat spot for the tent but you do uh, Ted managed to uh, annoy a massive ant nest. Uh, it was ugly. It was very, very ugly. ugly. Uh, one of those big meat ant nests. But I was telling him this morning, they're late risers as well. I jumped up and down and couldn't get them out of bed. But Yeah, well, they're certainly attacking me. You may wonder what we did, you know, 16 days in lockdown. Well, we weren't alone. There was uh, another couple from Victoria, David and Nola. And they'd been in their camp. They were heading to Queensland and they've been there for, I think, three months now. And uh, so they were, you know, they were pretty bored. They were, they were even even prepared to listen to Ted ra rap it on all day long. Good thing to go too. out, go out, do some uh, yabbying, and and uh, that was successful. Ted did some fishing. You know, we, I sat there for bloody hours and hours just watching this bloody line do nothing. I said, "That's it. I'm going back to get a coffee." The minute I left my chair, Ted pulled in five yellow bullies. So clearly, I'm just a just a not the fisherman type. No, just got to go and, and relax another, on the coffee, Ted. Another Those couple drugs. was in lockdown on, on Camp 5 and they were uh, Rod and Liz from out near Taree Way. And uh, they headed off three days ago. They finally, finally had enough of Ted just, just banging their ears. And so they thought, no, it was better to be on the road than, than, than do that. But yeah, it was uh, 16 days. Was, was was not a lot to do, but somehow we managed to fill it. Yeah, no, no, it's all good. It's all good, first world challenges. But uh, we're really, uh, look, we're so, I'm just so glad to be back on the river. It's, it's, it's very hard to describe. It's just so beautiful. You know, it's the very change, therapeutic. Like last night, the, the sunset was, what I've quoted before, was like a flamingo's armpit. Just magnificent pink across the sky. It's just all absolutely fantastic. So we're going to crack on and paddle some more.